Now regardless of what roofing material you use, roof ventilation is going to be extremely important. A lot of heat and moisture is going to build up within the roof cavity and it's vital that we allow for this to escape. Given that asphalt roof shingles are installed over a solid plywood deck, roof cavity ventilation it's managed a little differently. The whole idea is to allow for the air to circulate within the roof cavity and the air needs to come in while the moist hot air needs to escape. And although this is not something new for experienced roofers, when it comes to roof shingles, it's vital that you get this right. So let's go and see how this is done properly. For effective roof cavity ventilation, we must first allow adequate air to enter and then for that air to escape the roof cavity. Although the main objective is to expel that hot air, we must first facilitate good air entry into the roof. We achieve this by leaving a 10 to 20 mil gap between the plywood and the fascia. This is actually prepared for when the plywood deck is installed. This effectively allows air to enter right around the perimeter of the roof. This gap in the roof is then discreetly hidden underneath the overhanging drip edge. This allows air to easily circulate within the roof cavity. Air is able to enter the roof cavity here beneath the drip edge, which can then replace the hot air that escapes via the ridge vents. The ridge vent we're using on this home is the GAF Cobra exhaust vent. This is a tough mesh material and it allows excellent ventilation while at the same time it keeps out those little critters. Although GAF offer a wide range of these ridge vents, the Cobra exhaust vent is the best one suited to our climate. They've been well and truly tried and tested and they're an essential component of the entire GAF roofing system. Just as the air entry points are prepared for when the plywood deck is installed, so are the exhaust vents. To ensure adequate exhaust ventilation, a 35 to 45 mil gap is left in the plywood at each ridge. As the air in the roof cavity heats up, it naturally rises. By allowing for this gap at the ridge, that hot air is able to escape. Then, as it escapes, it actually draws in fresh air from beneath the drip edge to replace it. As it is with most roofing materials, we know a capping will need to be installed over the ridge. This is no different with roof shingles. But in order to prevent the ridge capping from blocking these gaps, a tough mesh-like vent is applied along the ridge line. This is called Cobra Exhaust Vent. Then, once the ridge cap is installed, the exhaust ventilation is still maintained. To install the Cobra Exhaust Vent, it is simply rolled out over the entire ridge line. Then, once it's centred, it's nailed in place. Then, after the ridge capping is installed, you'll end up with a discreet yet effective roof cavity ventilation system.